Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. in church when the pastor announced the mission trip to Zambia and that interested people should wait behind Yes, I had it. Uh -huh. Because I didn't see you and I kept looking around amongst others. Why? What happened? Nothing serious. Uh -huh. eh? It's just that I just felt I needed to discuss it with my husband first. Uh, sister, discuss with your husband. Why are you dragging your feet about the things of God? Eh? And then were you not in church the last time the guest minister came from the east? And the prophecy he gave that God is said to use women in this end time revival and that it is now time for us to rise up in his power uh -huh. and that nothing can stop us if we are ready to move all the way for the Lord not even our jobs not our home nothing so uh, it is stopping you sister Funke I had the message eh? but I still feel we need to be patient and be sure of the Lord's leading mm -hmm. at least I'm still involved in God's work within the church. You're involved in church work. Are you the only one? Are you the only one doing God's work? Am I not doing God's work? See, I, you, you need to know. Me, anyway, Sha, me, I'm going. And I already wrote your name. So both of us are going. It's not that I'm not interested. Eh? But you know what happened the last time? When we went for Kaduna Mission Outreach. Since then, Sister Funke. God has been dealing with me to take things easy with my husband. You see the issue of these men? Let us leave them in the hand of God. He knows how to undo them. He knows how to, how to sort them out. Because even the Bible says that we should seek first the kingdom of God. I am going to Zambia because I really wrote your name. I still need to ask for his opinion. I don't want to go without his permission again this time. It's okay then. So, should I just call the minister in charge to delete your name? But why can't you... Ah. See, my dear, you said this issue is, is about the things of God and for God alone. Okay. Do you hear me? Okay. Well, I will see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the meal. In fact, this food is so special today. So delicious. Yeah. In fact, pass me this too. I need more. Okay. <coughs> Children, I want to say thank you to mommy today. 
we thank God. That's okay, that's okay. Thank you so much. I'm happy you all enjoy it. Ah, wonderful. Mm. Hey, Victor, we have had these plates. Hmm? Pack your plates and take them to the kitchen. Okay. Then go and do your own work. Be careful with the Be place. careful, Victor. something yes but don't worry uh -uh. what do you mean by don't worry say what you want to say now i'm all ears uh -uh. anyway it's about the mission work to zambia that was announced in church on sunday uh, mission work to zambia so <coughs> What about it? Because I too heard you when the pastor was announcing it in church on Sunday. Eh, dear, I was only thinking, eh? Maybe you will allow me to follow them again. I see. So, when exactly are they doing? In two weeks' time. Oh, I see. Very good. Very good. You know what I'm thinking? Um, you can actually go ahead of them tomorrow. As a matter of fact, you can go this evening. Oh. You know, you can go and wait for them there. Sure you get. <clears throat> Why are you talking like this now, eh, dear? I'm not saying I'm going now. I've not even given them my words. I was only asking for your permission. <laughs> Dear, why are you doing this to me now? Hey? Ah! I'm not saying I'm going. I was only asking for your permission now. Ah! Oh, I'm tired though. Ah! Don't be What sort of man is this? What have I done? Eh? What have I done again? See, I'm talking to you now. Eh? Why are you doing this to me? Because I would rather keep silent than to allow you to push me to sin against God. But I was only asking for your permission. Permission? The way you did last year, Abby. The way you did last year. So what do you expect me to say? What do you expect me to say? That you should not go? Never. Go and do whatever the Holy Spirit is asking you to do. Sister, I'm not stopping you. Go and do the work of God, though. Hmm. I can't go without your permission. <laughs> Who am I? How can I dictate the, the, the movement of our mother in Israel? Go and do whatever the Holy Spirit is asking you to do. You hear? What do I do now? Eh? What do I do now? Father Lord, I want to serve you. You have given me a great vision. And you said you will use me. You have been using me right from the, my single days. But this man, ah, this man has been a stumbling block to me. He has been hindering my ministerial breakthrough. Huh. Father, break him. Touch his heart. Let him allow me to do your will. Let him allow me to do your will, Lord. You said the heart of kings are in your hands. Please touch him, Lord. 
touch it. I'm tired. I'm just tired. Please help me. Father, touch this man. Break him down. Let him allow me to do your will. Eh? The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Touch him, Lord. Break him down. Tadi, your husband is not the problem. Yes, sir. He does not want me to fulfill my ministry. <laughs> do you want to jump? this period of preparation never forget that those who jump classes they never graduate Tade, i prepare my servants before exposing them don't overlook this moment in your home it is your period of preparation Read those last verses again. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. But, sir, I have not failed in this. Eh? I always submit to him. That was why I asked for his permission. Are you sure you actually submit to him? Read the last verse again. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 24 Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. But Lord, why everything? He makes mistakes several times. That was why I disobeyed him last year to obey you. You are asking for his permission because of what happened last year. What I ask you to do is to submit. You obey my word, Tade, and leave your husband to me. He makes mistakes several times. How do you expect me to submit to such a man? Tade, if you do my word and obey what I have said, you will have peace of mind and it will be well with you. Forgive me, forgive me, Lord. I'm very sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Please forgive me, Lord. Just have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord. I'm very sorry, Lord. I'm very sorry. Ah, ah. Oh, Father, please.
ماشي الكونسيبت Now listen. I really thank God for that revelation. You see, I did not oppose you from serving God. I did not. But all along, I just believed that some things are not right. Eh? Some things are not right. Last year when this issue came up, and when the argument started, I tried as much as possible to persuade you not to go for that mission assignment, but you insisted and you left. And what happened? The lady you sent here, ha! If not for God's intervention, she turned out to be something else. She ran away the following morning before we could wake up. I was the one that birthed the children and took them to school all throughout the days you were not around. My dear, what is the point in going out there and saving other people's life Why your own home is in disarray? Eh? It does not make sense. Hmm? So, we must apply wisdom so that we don't give the devil room in our home. Dear, I'm very sorry. I understand better now. Eh? I didn't want to disobey God as to neglect the ministry that he has given to me. I'm very sorry for all I put you and the children through. My dear, thank God for that dream. You see, the Lord will help you to fulfill your ministry in this world. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Thank you. No way. No way. It is not possible. You cannot stop me from doing the things of God. Ah, uh, what is it now? Ah, uh, you knew me. Oh. You knew me how I've always been on fire for God. Even before you married me. You know that I love the things of God. And I cannot sit back. I fold my hands and not walk. What is it? You cannot stop me. Ah. Okay. Mm. We shall see. But look, my advice is, mm. is that you take your children to grandma's place because I will not be around. I have an appointment. Why? I'm traveling with my boss to other branches. Eh, uh, don't worry, you can go. The mission trip is just for one week. The children can stay at home. Buy will take of himself and his brothers. And my God, and I will serve you faithfully. You take your dress from me, Jesus need. Okay. You don't know what you are saying. It is you that don't understand the things of God. And you do not understand them. Ah, when are you going to grow up? Are you still a baby Christian? Kilo day, when are you going to grow up? See, where will you not learn from Lapidus in the Bible that allowed Deborah to fulfill her ministry? Look, maybe you should ask Deborah. 
what she did before Lapidot allowed her. Do you think if she had failed as a mother, she would be called mother in Israel today? Have I failed? Am I a failure? Oh, you don't know. You keep leaving these children with me all the time. Jumping around doing God's work. Are you the only one? Can't you see the, 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 the family next door? Or is their mother also not doing the work of God? Must you be everywhere all the time? When exactly are you going to have time for me and these children for God's sake? Uh-uh. Tule, why are you saying this? Has God not been good to us? Is God not faithful to us in this family? Is this how you want to pay him back? Okay, my advice is this. If you must go, you can go. But the moment you leave this house, I will drive your children to your parents' house. And they will be there till you return. You will do no such thing. Do you hear me? You will do no such thing. Those children are staying in this house. God will take care of them. Fire is 12. You can take your visa as well. I my God will be with them. Because he knows that it is what I'm doing. What do you mean? Why are you stopping me from doing the work of God? And now you are not comparing me. Comparing me with my neighbor. What's my business with that? Eh? What are you going to grow up? These children are staying and I'm going. And nothing will stop me in Jesus. you how was the mission for ah you? it was wonderful praise god what about yeah. the brethren everybody is fine eh? we had time to minister among the brethren in fact it was another experience with god hey. i'm glad i went though. was pastor miss is able to go with ah, you no she couldn't make it again hey. anyway we thank god, thank god you are welcome back thank you ma. but i didn't see your children when you traveled ah. eh? and when we asked after them from your husband he told us they were fine eh? Hope nothing is wrong. My children are fine. There's no problem. Hey. Can you imagine that my husband took my children to my parents' place? What? Hmm. How will those elderly parents of yours take care of those children? My sister, I wonder. How, despite the fact that I warned him against me that hmm. he still went ahead to do that. He just does whatever he wants. Ah. Sister Funke, are you saying your husband did not give you permission to travel with the mission team? My mission team. Has he ever given him permission to do the work of God? Huh. He doesn't give him permission to do anything, but as far as I have the backing of God, mm -hmm. I go ahead and do the work of God. I let no man stop me. Huh. Yes, so. Sister Funke. Uh, children, 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 go inside. Eh? Go inside and change your uniform. Mm -hmm. Please, let me just take these children inside there. Eh? I'll soon join you. Huh, you are welcome back. Hey, Sister Funke. You are welcome back. I'm coming, eh? Okay. Okay. Yes, so. This is serious, so. <laughs> eh? You mean you still went to Zambia without your husband's permission? When did you become like this, Sister Tadi? Ah, what I told you now, eh? I told you about the encounter I had in my dream. <laughs> How the Lord told me to submit to my husband in everything, eh? I explained everything to you now. Mm. Or? Or you didn't believe me? Uh -uh. I believe you. Why won't I? I, do. I believe you. Why did you travel without his permission? <laughs> eh? No wonder. Huh? He wasn't happy at all. Eh? No wonder he took all your children to your parents' house. Oh, my dear. You see the issue of my husband, eh? Just leave it to me. My husband is not mature spiritually at all. Can your husband behave like that? No, just answer the question. Can your husband behave the way my husband is behaving? He does not understand the things of God. Your husband is a pastor in church. Highly respected. My husband is just a deacon. Just a deacon. Are you expecting to listen to all he says? But every man desires to be respected and honored. Eh? That's what the Bible says. 
The Bible says we should submit to our husbands. Eh? That is how it is. This is how it is written in the Bible. The same Bible says a wise woman builds her own. It means we need to apply wisdom to question our men. It's not all their decisions that are right, you know. Hmm. It is not. Ah, if I want to get to where God wants me to, in this is my ministry. Ah, I mustn't listen to everything my husband says. Oh. Do you know why, sister? No. Hmm. My husband is not spiritually strong at all. He doesn't know how to pray. He doesn't even know when God is speaking. He doesn't hear from God. In fact, thank God for my prayer. We will have been in a ditch by now. Hmm. It's our duty uh, to pray for them, pray for God's leading and direction. Mm. And this is how to be a help meet. My dear, I think we should forget about that for now. Do you know what happened when I went to Zambia? What? Hey! My ministry was launched when I was in Zambia. What? Your ministry? Yes, I was prayed for. I was anointed. Hey. Yes, so. And the Lord confirmed it. I started receiving calls from some African countries for ministration. Eh? Hey? Yes. Now, Imagine if I had listened to the man of the house that said I should not travel to Zambia. This opportunity, I would have missed it. Hmm. You see why I told you that it's not every time you should listen to your husband. They will not allow your glory to shine. Hmm. Ah, your ministry. Yes, yeah, so my ministry has started. Ah. Hmm. Oh, my sister. Anyway, hmm. thank God for his grace thank upon you. your life. You. But have you told your husband? Ah. I've not told him. Oh. Mm. Because I have a destiny to fulfill, I have a mission to accomplish. So mm. I've not told him I don't want anyone to hinder me at all. So mm. for now, I've, I've not told him. But what about your children? <laughs> uh, my children, they are still in grandma's house, so they are enjoying themselves. But by <sighs> next week, I'll go and pick them. You know what? I have to run because I'm the one leading prayer this evening in our church. Eh? Yes. You are the one taking the prayers yes. this evening. Yes, my sister. Hmm. See, the, the king's business, eh? It requires this. I'm leaving. Take care. Okay. What is wrong with this woman? Or am I the one something is wrong with? Her ministry is getting enlarged. God is even helping her. Imagine the pastor telling her to lead the prayer. Hmm. She's even being recognized. Maybe I need to wake up. Maybe I should have followed them. Hmm. But no. The scriptures cannot lie. Lord, I'm confused. Have mercy. Hmm. Have mercy. this afternoon. Mm. Do, what? do you know she traveled to Zambia without her husband's permission? I see. The Lord will help her. <clears throat> Is that what you have to say? What else do you want me to say, my dear wife? After all, when you two wanted to go, I did not stop you, did I? But you don't want me to go. But I did not stop you. It was the Lord himself that stopped you. And you chose to obey him. I told my friend about the vision I had. Eh? But she did contrary. Despite the fact that I showed her the scripture. The Lord spoke to you. He showed you the revelation. And you chose to obey him. The word of God is there for everybody to see. But for her, she chose to do contrary. So, she has chosen to do what is in her mind. Alright? She now has a ministry. Eh? In fact, she's now receiving invitation from other African countries to minister. So, when am I going to start my ministry? 
what I'm doing presently in the church is little compared to what God said about me. And you know it. I have never stopped you for once, my dear wife. I have never. It was the Lord that stopped you. And when it pleases him, he will release you and that will be okay by me. But you are not happy. Uh -uh. You don't want me to fulfill my ministry. See Sister Funke, that we both started together. She's now receiving invitation from all African countries to minister. to answer me. Can I ask you a question? What is ministry? What sort of question is that? No, you just answer me. Ministry is an assignment given to one for the expansion of God's kingdom. Okay, for instance, you have been called to sing and that your ministry will go around the world? That's if you will allow it. Dear, let me ask you. Is that the only ministry you have? That's the only ministry I have. Oh. No. The Lord has called you into a higher ministry. That same day you got married. And what's that ministry? Your home. Your home, dear. And you need to understand this point so that you can have peace. The primary ministry of every married woman is a home. And that is why the Lord has called you as an helpmate. It is not when you stand on the pulpit behind microphone and minister to thousands of people. No. It must begin at home. If the home is not important, the book of Proverbs chapter 31 wouldn't have been written in the Bible. But you won't say this to me. <laughs> and that is because you did not get it. Dear, let me tell you. Your success in this home will determine your promotion. Out there. All your labor on me and on these children will not be in vain. That is if you understand it as a ministry unto the Lord. You don't know what will become the future of any of these children. Eh? They are our future. Huh? They are the future of this home. If you understand this as a ministry. And you are actually helping the Lord in shaping and molding their future. Hmm, boss, what about my ministry? Eh? And my vision? They will come to pass. God himself will lift you up when the appointed time come. Eh? Your voice and your ministry will still be heard all over the nations of the world. Eh? The peace and the joy we enjoy in this home now is because you allow it. This is the time to sow good seed into your home so that you can reap the harvest of joy in the future. Eh? Look at me. We are your ministry for now. You are actually laboring for your future ministry. A time will come when your voice and your song will be heard in various nations of the world. Dear, please pray for me. Lord, Help my wife to fulfill the calling of God upon her life. Amen. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. What the Lord has said concerning you will come to pass. Amen. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it.
Yeah, how are you? You're welcome. Thank you. Hope you're okay. I'm fine. Good. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Have you had anything to eat? Oh, yes. I actually took rice and um, oh, left really? some for you on the gas. Ah, thank you, my dear. Where are these children? Bye, yo! Toluani! Dear? I can't hear anyone. Where are the children? They are not back. Eh? Uh-uh. Why are they still in school by this time? Eh? Why didn't you pick them for me? They are still at grandma's place. Hey! How can you say my children are still at grandma's place? Eh? Why do you take my children there? Eh? You know the way mama always spoil them anytime they go visiting. Ah, they I don't like it now. At least they are enjoying themselves where they are. Ah. Enjoy themselves. Well, see, see, dear, you have not done well at all. You've not done well at all. I told you, let them stay at home. Ah. Funke. Mama cannot cop their excesses. And you know that. Ah, Funke. Are you okay? Is something wrong with you? Look, don't let me sin against God. I have been enduring your excesses for a very long time. Ah. If you don't want serious trouble in this house, please let me be. If you also do not want trouble, go and bring my children from where you park them. After all, I left them at home. You don't want to park them there. Go and bring them. You know where they are, right? Hmm? Now, you will go and pick them from there. Hmm. It's like you don't understand what I'm talking about. That is what I know right now. Go and bring my children. Go and bring them for me. Ah, haven't you been in this house since yesterday? So why didn't you go and pick them yourself? Well, you know that when I came yesterday, Pastor called me for a special prayer meeting in church that I had to go and attend to. So whose fault? Whose fault? Please, let me continue with my work. Do you understand? Eh? You're not even thankful to God that you have your parents to drop your, your children with. Eh? At least, they're enjoying themselves where they are. What's your stress? Hmm. I already told you that Bio Bi can take care of himself. Eh? He can take care of himself and his younger ones, yet he will not agree. Eh? Then you say I'm shouting, I'm shouting. You are stressing my life, you are stressing me up. Go and bring my children. You just woman. Can Bio take care of himself, let alone his younger ones? Eh? Holier than thou. Now your parents are not spiritual enough to take care of your own children. Eh? <laughs> anyway, when next you are going, please make an alternative arrangement. Ah, Mama, thank you very much, ma. Ah, Daddy, I hope these children didn't disturb you, especially this naughty one, Bayo. Ah. <laughs> and can you imagine? No, but you behaved very well, mm -hmm. including your baby. Mm -hmm. But this one that looked like her mother, ah, my dear, mm -hmm. oh, she disturbed us terribly. She suddenly woke up in the middle of the night, complaining of stomach ache. Mm -hmm. It was God, who. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway, we thank God. It was actually because of my traveling that I had to bring them down. Yeah. You can imagine leaving them at home and this kind of thing happening. Mm. Ah, how would they have managed the situation? <laughs> <laughs> we have to thank God. Mm -hmm. Ah, we are all afraid. Ah, uh -uh. is it that serious? That is. Ah, but thank God, my wife was up to the task. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> mommy. Mommy. Thank God, mommy. Please, what drug in particular did you give to Tolo Wani to arrest the situation? Ah, Funke, stop it! Oh. Mommy, we are grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Our mother in Israel. Mm. Who? Help me ask her. I think you want to teach me how to take care uh, of children now. <laughs> Help me ask her the drug I use. What I've been using to take care of her <laughs> when she was like this one. That's no, 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 mommy, don't get me wrong. As a mother, I have the right to know the particular drug you gave my child. Ah, Funke! What is it? Are you okay? Mommy, please. We are sorry. <laughs> but, and we are grateful. You know what is wrong with her? Our whole Christianity has turned everybody into a, a sinner now. Yes. Oh. Everything we do is sin. Mm. 
I've been giving her something. Take this thing. This is for your children. She won't collect it from me. At all. Because we are sinners. <laughs> Mommy, don't worry about it. I think we should start going now. <laughs> All right, children. Please. Okay. Uh, good night, my children. Good night, Mama. 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 I'm yeah. not talking to Funke Elono. <laughs> Daddy, don't worry. I'll bring everything by the weekend. Eh? Is Funke still around before you should be? Mommy, uh, I'm only asking yes, you. Yes, mommy, I'm around. I'll bring it to right. the weekend. So, okay. <laughs> today you'll be expecting it to All right, ma. <laughs> Daddy. Bye, bye, bye. All right, bye. 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 Now, Choluani, what happened to you when you were in Mama's place? I slept and I woke up at the middle of the night with stomach ache. What did you eat? I ate Amala. Amala? Ah, but all of you ate the same thing? Yes. Ah, so the, what drug did she give you? Prepare for this, eh? Since you know these children are coming to us for a while, maybe you know, you know your daughter, Fuke and her husband. They never plan for anything. He just brought them to me and dumped them uh, in the house. Eh? Well, there is no time for complaint now. See, we have to give this girl something because this pain is getting too much. Mm -hmm. um, what? Okay. Mm -hmm. See? Um, this thing. Ah no, this one is not for children. Oh. It works, my dear. Yes, it will work. In fact, I once gave it to you, uh, Funke, but she didn't take it from me. It can work for anything. Okay. For diarrhea, for headache, 
for pay. It can work for anything. And that's why they call it to go to the end. If you work, if you say so, you bring that come. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, eh? It's okay. Take it. Take it. Take it. Everything. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not meant for, for, for him now. Do you know what we have to do to them tomorrow? We are the same. Take it, take it, Joe. <laughs> I told you. It works. Ah. <laughs> See this one too. Ah. <laughs> are you hearing what the students are saying? Eh? Mama eventually gave them. Can you see what what you have cost now? Ah, what I have cost, or what you have cost? No, 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 no. Please, I don't like this. I told you, don't let the student go to Mama's place. I had my reasons. <laughs> eh? Now she gave them that stupid drug. I don't like. Do you expect me to always stay with the children when you're on official appointment? No, please. I didn't want the children to go there. I told you they could take care of themselves. Was it not just one week trip? Now see what you have cost. Look, Funke, okay. is this not the same drug Mama said she gave you while you were growing up? And you didn't die. Look, nothing will happen to the children in Jesus' name. Hey, man, nothing will happen to my children. Ah, Father, I cover my... Oh, yeah, yeah, bring your head. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. I will not cry. Over them in Jesus' name. Ah, oh, you this man. You this man. Welcome back. Thank you. How was your journey? Ah, it was hectic. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to Nairobi, Kenya. I had a stopover in Ghana. And then before coming to Nigeria, the Ghana people, they said I should come and minister again. Hey. Ah, my sister. Thank God. You are welcome. It's God, though. You're really looking nice. Thank you. Thank God for your life. Thank God. It is God, my sister. Ah. This is what God can do. How was the journey? Ah, it was very quiet. Hmm. But come to think of this, sister, that day. You dazzle me, you amaze me. You that God has given gifts. Eh? You allow one man to cage you. You allow a man to put you in a box. And you are here. Ah, the whole world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Ah, ah, stop doling yourself. I know. Eh? But I believe God is using this period to prepare me for the future. Mm. In fact, the way I receive new songs from God. Ah, it baffles my husband. Mm. Mm. Ah, but we believe that the appointed time is coming when those songs will be released. Mm. But presently, mm. I'm using it to bless my Jerusalem. You are more than that. Sister Tade, you are more than that. What are you still doing in Jerusalem? And when women are everywhere, come out, come out, go to Samaria, go to Judea, go to the uttermost part of the world and go and bless them there. Mind you, your time is ticking. Everyone has his or her own destiny to fulfill. Don't let one man put you in a cage. Ah, ah. Sister Funke, thank you, eh? Don't worry. I just want to get something down the road. Uh -uh, you did not even notice my car. Eh? You mean this car belongs to you? Yes, so uh -uh. that is what God has hey. done. You see what I was saying? Thank God. Ah, God. Sister Funke, yeah. Eh? 
a gift from God. Even my husband now understands the call of God upon my life. Mm. That's what I'm saying. When you are serving God, he will be faithful to you. Ah, he really tried. Mm. He took good care of your children when you were away. Ah, he tried for the children. My husband, I know how to shut his mouth. Mm. So he has no other choice than to help me to fulfill my ministry and take proper care of the children. Yes, so that is why I was saying, if you are wise as a woman, you will know how to play your game. Hmm. This is it. Thank you. I bought some things for you and the children. I'll send yeah. them to you later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. You are welcome. Ah, ah, sister, that day in Jerusalem. Thank you. Everybody. Welcome, eh? Okay. Father, Lord, I thank you for the time of preparation. I thank you for helping these children, for helping me to train these children to love and to fear you. I also thank you for my husband and for your anointing upon his life. Ah, thank you, Lord. I thank you for opening more doors for him. I thank you for increasing and enlarging his ministry and business. Thank you, Jesus. I know that your promise concerning my home and ministry will be established. Father, I thank you for helping my children to grow more in your grace. I'm so grateful. I appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Ah, my Amen. Dear. You are praying. Yes. So, if I may ask you, my dear, what are your prayer points? Just thanking God. <laughs> ah. Sister Motade. Yes. It is good to thank God. It is good to give Him praises. But, Sister Motade, I must confess to you that I'm so happy and fulfilled that I have you as a wife. And I appreciate your submission. I know it is not easy. I know. Hmm. Kai! Sister Mota Day of those days in the campus. Very strong and energetic in the service of the Lord. Wow. And I know that the anointing is still inside, waiting for manifestation. Mm. Thank you for taking care of these children. And thank you for supporting me. Anyway, I also want to say thank you, sir. Wow. For all the wise counsel given to me and for building me up spiritually. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Let us pray. Yes, let's pray. Father, thank you. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. When the GM comes, I mean, everything will be inspected. Mm. And I'm sure you'll be impressed. Okay? Mm. Um, we'll talk tomorrow morning. All right. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Mm. My dear, do you know I really appreciate you? My one and only husband. Mm. Irreplaceable. Mm. My jewel. Mm. Oh, even if I want to continue. <laughs> I'm grateful for taking care of the children while I was away. Really? God bless you for me. <laughs> Ah, my dear yeah. husband. Ah. Anyways. Do you know you're wonderful? Anyways. Look, the Lord will bless you. Amen. Ah, the Lord will flourish your ministry. Amen. Your ministry will grow from grace to grace. Amen. In oh. fact, look, I am very grateful. Mm. Thank you very thank much, you. my wife. God uh, bless you, sir. Yes, yeah, I should thank you. Mm. I mean, for the money mm. and... Even the car that you bought. Anything for you. Ah, yeah, you need to see how I look today. <laughs> Are you serious? When I went to speak to children from school. Uh -huh. Ah, they knew a senator had arrived. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, they have just started. Ah. <laughs> hey. My dear. Hey, when next are you going on your trip? Uh, uh, not traveling anytime soon. What do you ask? Mm, I think, um, Bio's principal sent for us. Oh. Yeah, and um, I sent him a letter to tell him you were not around, but he insisted that you, you should be there. Oh, really? That he can't attend to me alone. Oh. For what, what reason, I don't know. Okay, bye yo! Bye yo! Yes, 
money. Fire, what is all this? I didn't see you like this when I came yesterday. Jesus, what kind of record is this one? Bayo, Bayo, who bought this for you? Who? Eh? I'm not a kid, mom. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm in SS3. Uh, so I know where to get what I need anytime, anywhere. Don't talk rudely at your mother. What has come over you? See your only son. And you are looking. Anyway, your principal sent for us. What happened? Can't you talk? Hey, Jesus. God. Jesus, I am serving you faithfully. Please don't let the enemy prevail over my family. Look, it's okay. Eh? Okay, it's okay. You should know that the devil himself can't be happy with your ministerial success hmm. and uh, just know that he has failed this time ah but you did not tell me anything what, what has come over this boy when did this happen i just noticed he liked keeping to himself mm -hmm. and he likes staying alone in his room i often force him to come for devotions even in the mornings and later on is I asking for money to buy this, to buy that? Mm -hmm. And thank God for the money that you sent from time to time. So, and since you said I shouldn't deprive them of anything yes. that they want, just make sure I tend to their needs. Because I didn't want them to be influenced. Why did you allow issues to deteriorate like this? You didn't even tell me. That's what I thought. And that's why I keep giving them whatever they ask for. But he just chose to keep to himself. And I've been I've been wondering the problem. Oh. Well, I just think he needs prayers. And I have been doing that even in your absence, you know. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, I have been serving you faithfully. God! Eh? Eh? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? I would have at least joined you in prayers. Because I didn't want to disturb your ministerial work. Ministry. Ah. Yes. And I just believed that it was just a youthful exuberance that would fade off over time. So ah. I don't think there's cause for alarm. Okay. Okay. So the principal sent for us. What are we going to do? Uh, we will find time to go and see him then. We're going there first tomorrow morning. Jesus. Don't put me to shame. I am serving you faithfully, Jesus. Um, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, um, you sent for us, and that's why we're here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, this will be the fifth letter we sent to you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We received only one, and <laughs> that was just last week. That's true. No, that was when we told him about the school's decision. What decision? Your son has been expelled from the school. Eh? Ah? Whose son? Principal. He is the leader of a cult. Ah! Cult? Ah, which cult? Excuse me, sir. Are you talking about our son, Bayo Ola Nipeko? But this is a secondary school, not the I university. I don't understand. Even they are operating in primary schools as well. My people, uh, the world is turning upside down. Oh. That is why we must struggle to always be there for these children. Oh. Or else, the stranger, the devil, will just occupy the space in their lives. You see, your son, Spends money anyhow in the school. He lavishes money on students and uses this to lure them into courtesy. Are you sure you are talking about our son? 
bayo ola ni pekun hello sir if it is for the money uh, we give him the money yes and that is to avoid him getting into the wrong hands yeah, so he won't be or even even be a part of this kind of cult thing talking you are about. talking about hmm. is using that money to lure some of them into cults no sir it is not my son. <laughs> Alright, sir. Do you know where your son is right now? Uh, yes. He left for school this morning with, with his, his siblings. siblings. Have you noticed any strange character of recent? Well, no, well. I I noticed he's been keeping to himself yes. lately. Yes. <laughs> what about the mother? You should be able to notice some strange characters from him. She she travels a lot for ministerial work. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, no wonder. No wonder. No wonder what? No wonder what, sir. Mr. Ma, I'm sorry for you. You lack home builder. Uh oh. Oh. Hello, sir. Please, no. with due respect. <laughs> you see this woman that is sitting next to me? She is a minister of God. Highly anointed. A powerful minister at that. And she does not toy with the things of God. She also doesn't toy with things pertaining her children and even me. She is the best thing that God has given unto me. You see, as for Bio. He has only chosen to disgrace himself and yes. not also. Yes. Look, yes, I'm sir. sure it is the devil. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't, don't stop that here. Stop that one. Don't say it here. Why is it that you always rope everything on devil's neck? What about you? I am a Christian too. And I know what the Bible says about home and the role of the parents, especially mother. <laughs> My sister, I don't blame you for doing girl's work, but you were not there for this boy when he needed you most. Jesus, oh, I am serving Jesus faithfully. You see, God joins a man and a woman to become one, husband and wife, to raise godly children for him. I mean, children that the law we use to destroy the work of the devil. And your husband cannot do it alone. Because you as a mother, you have the vital role to play in the life of your children and your home, which your husband cannot play for you. You see, your constant absence at home allows the enemy to sow a bad seed into your family. Jesus! Okay. It's, it's not okay. okay. It's not okay. Right. Boy, it's your future. Your tomorrow. <sighs> but as you can see, I doubt it if your tomorrow is secure. Ah, it's just <laughs> Your son needs serious prayer and deliverance. <laughs> Several times. He has been caught smoking weeds. Ah! Ah, uh, uh, Jesus! 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 Uh, the school authority has therefore decided to expel your son from the school, being the leader of the courts. Ah! He is a bad influence on other students. Ah! God, I am serving you faithfully. <laughs> ah! You say, ah, my children that you have given me, I am a sister. Um, please bring that boy. Yeah, his parents are around. No, 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 no. They are not aware at all. I, I promise you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please. What is going on? What do we need to know? Excuse me, sir. Eh? Uh, sir, what do we need to know? What is going on? Tell us something. 
You say your son has been coming to school, despite the fact that he has been expelled. So my son is not even in the class. And I have yet to leave. So my son is not even in the class. You are not in my own. Just a few days ago, he and his court members Daughter of the principal. See, boss, eh? Who by the Who teach you a lesson you should not forget in her life? I'm not even interested in her anymore. Ah, boss. How do you want it? I'm sorry. She does it. She does it. I will beat you today. Come here again. Come here. I will show you today. The girl is in hospital right now. Just pray that the girl will come alive. I don't try it. How many times did you spend with us in the house? Oh, ah, was it not with dad that you always leave us with? Sometimes you would just take us out to the to the trees just to go and eat because it was too tired to cook. Severally, you would travel, leaving us alone in the house while your mates, the family next door, ah, would be the one to feed us. Mom, you have not done so well. I hate you, mom. I hate you! Please <laughs> take me for mom. That is the result of your administration. You have not done well at all. You even heard it from your son. I mean, your only son. You are going around ministering and building other people's life. Why you neglected your home, your primary calling? Hmm? But, sir. Please, look, we are very sorry for all we have put this school through. Yes, yes sir. But, you see, we need your help right now. Yes, sir. Is there anything you can do? Is there any help you can render, please? Mm -hmm. Mr. Lani Peku, I thought you said you are a Christian. There is nothing you can do at this junction rather than to pray for the deliverance and the mercy of God for your door. Yeah? Because they get the beat up must not die. Hey! Jesus. The parents of that girl, and they have involved the police, as you can see. And we have no choice rather than to support their investigation. Hey. The police have been coming to school looking for your son before he was arrested with his gang this morning. Uh, Mr. Lani thank you very much. Have a nice day. Mother? <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Oh, 
bless you. Thank you very much. And we'll sit. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank God. Thank God for the anointing of God upon your wife. Mm. Mm. Thank God for the manifestation of his power. That special song she rendered at the state convention mm. was very powerful. Ah. To God be the glory. That the general overseer had to ask for a repeat of that song at the national convention coming up in Abuja. Well, sir, that will be in August. Yes, that's, 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 that's in August. That's the Lord's doing. And, and, and do we take that as your consent? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, because time is so close, we are beginning to prepare. Mm. And the headquarters have decided to buy the ticket. The ticket for both of you. So we are traveling together to the national convention. But sir, I don't think uh, I will be able to go for now. But why? Your wife will want you to be around. Even we will want you to be around in that convention. That's true. So at least to honor her with your presence. She will be encouraged. But sir, let's, let me get back to you on that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pray about it. It's okay. We'll be waiting for your response. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. No, Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, sir. <laughs> Dear, you think I should go? It means I'm going to spend about a week in Abuja. Yes, I know. I know. Actually, they said I should follow you, but uh, I don't think I'm ready to go now. Why? Let's go together now, please. I don't have any leading to go with you now. Maybe later. What do you mean by that? Later? Yes, later. As how? Eh? This is the first time I'm, tra I'm traveling by air. <laughs> Let's go together now, please. I will follow you when it is time for you to fly out of this country for ministrations. Me? You mean I will fly out of the country for ministration? Is there anything too difficult for God to do? Remember he has said it before. And he will do it. Ah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Oh. Ah. Abuja. Hmm. But what about the children? The children? They are no longer kids. Uh, Victor and Ire are already preparing for their journey. And besides, Mama will be here to take care of the youngest one and I. We'll be fine. The Lord will take care of us. Dear... Thank you. For what? For everything. Hmm. My dear wife, you are a very great woman. I believe that this is the appointed time. The time that you have been waiting for has finally come. Pray for you today that the anointing of the Lord upon your life will never run dry. Amen. The Lord will cause your voice to be heard in different towns and cities of the world. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The souls will be blessed by your ministrations. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the kingdom of God will be by your ministration. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you. Make sure 
sure you take care of your junior ones, eh? And make sure you take care of my husband, eh? Grandma will soon come and join me. We are so sorry that we couldn't make it to the court. Yes. Victor's mom needs to make it to the airport by 12 o'clock. I hope no problem. Oh, not at all. Mm. She she has administration uh, at Abuja, so I need to drop her at the airport. Oh. Administration? Yes. Yes, yes Sister Funke. Okay. I thank God for his grace. So, how did it go? Oh, we thank God for his mercies. Especially for preserving the life of the young girl. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. So she's alive. Oh, she is. Yes. She's very much alive. And now she's back home. Yes. But um, the judge ruled that um, the boys, including Bayo, should be kept at um, the juvenile home for three mm -hmm. months for them to learn their lesson. I thank you for the support and prayers that you have given to us. We now see where we have gone wrong. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. You know, um, sometimes the Lord allows some things to happen to us in order to, you know, avoid us getting to some more problems in the future. That's why we just need to thank Him for His mercies at all times. Thank you. I thought I was wise. But Sister Tade, you are a wise woman. I just pray God will forgive me. My sister, my sister. Oh. Yeah, there is no one that calls unto the Lord for mercy that the Lord will not forgive. You understand? It is Thank well. You. It is well. Thank you. Thank it you, well. sir. It is well, my sister. <laughs> The Lord will always forgive when we are back to His will. Huh? You know, I believe that your son will soon be out and will eventually fulfill the purpose of God for his life. Well, even though the Lord did not plan that it should go this way. You see? Ah, thank you, my brother. I hope um, we are not taking too much of your time. No, no, no. We still have time. We just want to get to the airport on time to avoid the rush out. Um, Sister Funke, you see, the first ministry the Lord has given to every married woman is to build a home. Hmm. She will definitely do greater exploits in the Lord, like Deborah, who rose to become the judge in the land. A promotion wouldn't, you know, be possible if she did not humble herself and took up the ministry of help in her home. She was first called a wife, a wife and a good mother of her children before she was promoted to become a mother of God's people. You are right, my brother. May God have mercy. You see, my sister, no competition at all. It is the year's take God has given every unmarried woman that will rise beyond the home ministry and do great exploits for the Lord, she must build a home. This is because a woman that cannot build a home will not be able to build the church of God and the nation. You are very right, my brother. How come you know all this revelation? Though I, I didn't see it at all this way. 
But deep down in my spirit, I sensed that something was wrong with my family. I just couldn't place it at all. <sighs> Thank you very much. So are you both going to Abuja? Oh, no, 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 no. Mommy, because you're only going I just need to drop her and then come back very soon. So, Sister Funke? Sure. When next are you traveling? Not anytime soon. Okay. Thank you. May God help you. Amen. Johnny Mercy, eh? Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Have a good day.